button. Accessibility volume set to 100%. Stop button. Pause button. Hello everyone on YouTube. It's John here again, and I'm sorry you're unable to see me, but that's alright because we're doing a video for the visually impaired anyway. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux with accessibility. Now, keep in mind that Arch Linux has been known to be a very tricky distribution to actually get up and running. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get Arch Linux up and running on your system without any hassle. And in April of this year, Arch Linux made it possible with a guided installer. So, meaning that people who are new to Arch and people who are visually impaired can get an Arch system up and running. Now, there used to be a distribution called Blind Arch, and there used to be one called Talking Arch, but Blind Arch isn't getting any updates, and the last version it was 2020, and Torch's last version was 2019. But when it comes to but when it comes to wanting to use Arch Linux, nobody can beat the official Arch installation medium. But list. So let's get started. I've got VirtualBox up and running here on a fresh copy of Windows 11. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find our Arch Virtual Machine. Wherever I do. List, Arch Linux virtual machine. There it is. And we're going to go ahead and boot it up. Menu set, Wabu, extra, Mabrupa, start alt, normal, start alt, n. Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager Window Split Button List Arch Linux Virtual Machine Arch Linux Powered Off Oracle VM Virtual Box Arch Linux Starting Oracle VM Virtual Box Arch Linux Running Oracle VM Virtual Box When it boots up, you want to press down and enter. This will start the Arch Linux installer with speech enabled. So what I like to do is I like to keep on doing it until I get speech. Now if you've got multiple... Okay, started software speech output for speaker. OK, finished screen reader service. OK, started getting on TTY1. OK, reached target login prompt. Arch Linux 5.14.8 Arch 1-1 TTY1. Arch ISO login. Root automatic login to install Arch Linux. Follow the installation guide. HTTPS slash slash wiki.archlinux.org slash title slash installation guide. For Wi-Fi, authenticate to the wireless network using the Uctal utility. For mobile broadband W1 modems, connect with the MacLy utility, Ethernet, WLAN and W1 interfaces using DHCP should work automatically. After connecting to the internet, the installation guide can be accessed via the convenient script installation guide root at Arch ISO. Okay, here we are in our Arch Linux installation medium. Now, this is all command line based. So, if you're not comfortable with the command line, don't worry. We're going to be using the official installation ga uh, installation the the installer that they've provided. So, let me explain how you boot the installer up. So, when it starts booting, you'll have 15 seconds. Otherwise, it'll boot the first entry on your hard disk. So, the second option is boot with speech. So, all you'll need to do then is press the down arrow key followed by enter, and you'll be booting into an Arch Linux environment that has speech enabled. Um, and um, if your PC's got multiple sound cards, you might get a beep on them. But if, you, if you're using, if your internal sound card is detected, um, eSpeak will start speaking right now. So let's get on with the installation, shall we? So this is pretty simple. All you'll need to do is type Arch install into the box. I N F R And we're going to press enter. Zero, I one, car two, CF three, CF four. Now it's asking us for our language, so you can even you can if you know what your language is, you can just directly tap it in or press the number assigned to it. So I know that I want to use UK, so I'm going to type UK in. UK zero, Australia thirty three, New Zealand one. Okay, so now you've got numbers assigned to your um, uh, mirror location. So I know for a fact now that the UK mirror is 51. One. What? I. I. One. It might depend on your location, but if you're in a different location, then listen very carefully for your mirror when you do the install. You can follow along if you want. So now that I've picked my mirror, I'm going to go press enter. Zero. 
slash net slash loop zero six hundred and seventy three point one M slash run slash arch ISO slash loop mint slash arch slash x eighty six sixty four slash air loop snot SFS non one slash net slash SDA one hundred and twenty G. So it's asking for my what partition I want to install Arch on. In my case, it's picked slash, well, number one is slash dev slash SDA, which is what I want, and it's a 128 gig partition. So I'm going to go pick one. One, zero, BTRFS one. Eh. Now, it's asking for my uh, file system. Select which file system your main partition should use by number or name, A. Eh? Select which file system. I'm going to go for number one because that's X4. Selected option one does not exist in Oops. available options. Select which file system your main partition should use by number or name. You can use BTRFS, but I recommend you go for number one. One. Enter disk encryption password. Leave blank for no encryption. Now, if you don't, this since this is a VM, we're going to leave this blank. Desired host name for the installation. I'm going to call this thing Arch Linux, all in capitals. A R C H L R N U X. So it's asking us for our host name, what the computer will be called. Press enter on that. Enter root password recommendation. Leave blank to leave root disabled. I recommend you leave the root disabled because otherwise, if malware gets on your system, it can have access to that account, even if it has a password. So I'm going to go leave the root disabled. Create a required super user with pseudo privileges. So I'm going to go create, this is the account creation now, so I'm going to go type in my name here. J-R-D-N space password for user Jordan. Now this will be your administrator account. And one more time for verification. So I'm going to type in my password second. Enter a username to create an additional user, leave blank to skip and continue. Now here you can actually create other user accounts, but if you don't want to create any more users, you can just simply skip and press enter. Zero, desktop one, minimal two, server three. Now we can decide how we want to set up our system. Now zero is desktop environment. So in this installation, I do want to install a desktop environment. So we're going to press zero. Zero, zero. Awesome 1, Budget 2, Cinnamon 3, Deep in 4, Enlightenment 5, Gnome 6, I37, KDE 8, LXQT 9, Mate. Now if you want to install the Marte desktop, which is my which I want to do in my case, you just simply press 9 and that'll install a Marte desktop. Nine. So here we are, Marte. Zero AMD slash ATI open source one. All open source. Now this now it's asking you what graphics drivers you want. Select your graphics card driver, A. A. I'm going to go pick one, one. for all of them. Selected option O's not exist in available options. Select your graphics card driver. I think that's a bug in the installer. I mean, if you're trying to use the up arrow to read and then you accidentally tap in something you didn't want to tap, I think they need to fix that. So I'm going to go pick one again, because it didn't work that last time. Would you like to install Pipewire instead of Pulse Audio as the default audio server? I, slash N? I don't want to use Pipewire because N. Orca doesn't work with Pipewire. We're going to click no. Space zero. Linux one. Linux hardened two. Linux LTS three. Lin now it's asking what type of kernel do you want? I'm going to install the Linux LTS kernel, which is number two. Two. Zero. Linux one. Linux hardened two. Now I'm going to press enter now that I've selected my uh, kernel. Only packages such as base, base bitmail, Linux, Linux firmware, Ethibutanga and optional profile packages are installed. If you desire a web browser such as Firefox or Chromium, you may specify it in the following prompt. Write additional packages to install space separated, leave blank to skip. Okay, so this is where we can choose what we want installed. So in my case, I want Firefox, Thunderbird, put Git in there just in case. Uh, I'm going to want VLC. I'm not going to install Orca this time. 
I'm going to install it when we actually get into our actual root environment, ch root, whatever you like to call it. Uh, is LibreOffice existing? Do we have LibreOffice? I want to install LibreOffice. And finally, Nitro Share. You can choose what you want. You don't have to install the ones I want to install. So I'm going to press enter. Verifying that additional packages exist. This might take a few seconds. Invalid package names. LibreOffice. Write additional packages to install space separated. Libra. Oops. Maybe LibreOffice doesn't exist here. So I'm going to go for NitroShare. <laughs> Firefox. Space. Thunderbird. Space. And get, because Linux users want to use that. Verifying that additional packages exist. This might take a few seconds. Zero. Copy ISO network configuration to installation one. Use network manager to control and manage your internet connection. So most people use network manager. So I'm going to go click on the number one. Because one. that's what I want to do. Space, enter a valid time zone examples. Europe slash Stockholm, US slash Eastern, or press enter to use UTC. If you don't know what your time zone is, just use UTC. Press enter on that. Because you'll be able to communicate, you'll be able to configure that in your graphical settings. Would you like to use automatic time synchronization NTP with the default time servers? Y slash N. Automatic time synchronization. That'll make sure Why? it gets your time location. So I'm going to click yes. And after this, we'll get a summary of our setup. Space, hardware, time, and other post configuration steps might be required in order for NTP to work. For more information, please check the Arch Wiki. This is your chosen configuration, exclamation, root password, audio, pulse audio, bootloader, rub install, file system, x4, hard drive, model, vbox hard disk, path, slash net slash sda, size, 120g, hostname, arch linux, kernels, linux, linux lts, keyboard language, uk, mirror region, ukraine, https, Slash slash arch linux dot astra dot in dot ula slash dot repo slash os slash dot. That must have changed it then. But regardless, we can still change those if we need to. Still going to get our packages regardless. Exclamation formatting block device slash net slash sda in five dot four dot three dot two dot one dot adding partition to block device slash net slash sda formatting slash net slash sda one x four mounting partition path slash net slash sda one size one hundred and twenty g fsx four rel mount point slash to slash mnt waiting for automatic mirror selection reflector to complete a new package mirror list has been created. Slash etc. Slash Hackman dot d slash mirror list installing packages base base bit mail Linux firmware Linux Linux LTS drum creating install root at slash mnt installing packages to slash mnt colon synchronizing package databases core core fifteen point nine kv eight Linux five point one four. Okay, now it's going to install everything. It doesn't really matter what mirror selection you go for. It doesn't ma it doesn't really matter what mirror region you go for as long as long as you get your as long as you get your packages. Twenty point eight my V five point six five my V slash S zero zero nine twenty seven percent total two slash what GCC eleven point one point zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause until the installation is done and then we'll discuss what to do next. Stop button. Pause button. Pause button. Notification volume set to zero percent. Okay, I am back, and Arch Linux is installed. However, we do need to perform some installation, post-installation steps. So, in order to have a speech during your Arch installation, you're going to want to install a couple more packages. So follow along with me. You're going to want to use the Pacman Package Manager, and tap in Pac Pacman, P -A -C -M -A -N, space, dash, dash S, S, 
taste. And the packages you're going to need are Orca. O-R-C-A taste. East Peak NG. E-S-P-E-A-K dash N-G taste. Also Utils. A-L-S-A dash U-T-R-F-S taste. And E Speak Up. E S P E A K U P. And press enter. Resolving dependencies, looking for conflicting packages. Packages 30 olive 1.4 RC5 14 BRLTTY 6.4 1 CD Paranoia 10.2 8 D plus Python 1.2.18-1.conf 1.3-6 Graphene 1.10.6-1 1 GST plugins base 1.18.5-1 GST plugins good 1.18.5-2 in lib 2-1.7.4-1 1 lib out 1 2.2 Why? Space colon retrieving packages. ESPKNG 1.50-4x8664 total 0 slash graphene 1. So when it asks, just press Y. 1x8664 15.9 chi b 4.00b slash s colon 8% total 14 slash 30 22.7 my b 1427 chi b. Let me just make sure that all those are installed. Nope, there is. Y. Command. They're installing though, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to make sure that our speech starts up at boot, otherwise Orca isn't going to be able to speak to us. So we tap in systemctl, enable, e-speak up, Created symlink slash etc slash system v slash system slash sound not target not want slash e speak up not service right arrow slash us slash lib slash system v slash system slash e speak up not service root attach ISIS. I'm not sure that also libs needs to be in it, also utils needs to be enabled, let's just give it a try. And if not, then we're good to go. So system CTL again. S Y S T E C T L Space. We're inside our installation system. This is actually going to install to our installed system. Enable. Okay, we don't. That's not a service. So now what we can do is tap in exit. Installation completed without any errors. You may now reboot Arc install 99.95. So we can actually go ahead and reboot the system, but before we do that, we tap in shut down. S -E -D -D -double -F -space. Now. F -E -double. Our virtual box C We're back in the virtual box main window. So if you're installing in virtual box like me, go ahead and un and remove your installation media from the thing. Uh, if you're installing on a real computer, you can just install your installation Our media. So I'm going to go into my. Uh, I'm going to go into my storage. I'm using NVDA here. Type, cache, all uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and. Remove my ISO. Menu, remove attachment. Remove attachment like so. Virtual box information. Remove enter button. Hold R. Cancel, remove remove enter, attachment. Button, arch, arch, Linux, okay, enter, button, Oracle, click OK. Menu settings, right click our Arch Linux, Linux machine. Clone, move, expo, remove, group, all, start, all, and key. start it up. Normal start all dead. Oracle VM virtual box manager window. Split button. List. Arch Linux powered off Oracle VM virtual box. Arch Linux starting Oracle VM virtual box. Arch Linux running Oracle VM virtual box. I've had many fails attempts at trying to install Arch, but hopefully. If we've done it right, we shall have Orca speaking once we log in. Now I'm going to use NVIDIA to know where I am. Okay, I can log in. Tap in my password. I should be on my desktop once I've logged in. And hopefully we actually get Orca speaking to us. So fingers crossed. Tap Orca. Screen reader on. 
Yes, it's not. I can you. And there you go. There's our talking Arch Linux install. We've set up an Arch Linux um, install. That wasn't too hard. So now what I usually do during Linux installations or after them is I usually set up Orca to my needs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Screen reader preferences dialog. General page tab. So I'm on the general page. I'm going to go ahead and do all this real quick. Tab. Keyboard layout panel. Tab. Progress bar updates panel. Speak updates checkbox checked. Tab. Braille updates checkbox not checked. Tab. Beep updates checkbox not checked. Space. Checked. I want beep updates because it's really cool. Left braille up. Speak up. Keyboard layout panel. General page tab. Voice page tab. Voice page. I want to change the voice to the UK English one. Tab. Voice type settings panel. Tab. Speech system. Combo box. Speech dispatcher. Tab. Speech synthesizer. Combo box. Default synthesizer. Tab. Language. Combo box. NUS. F. M N R L M R E G E D E C S C S R R L N Z O N D B. Left speech synthesizer speech system voice type voice page tab OK push button cancel push button apply push button. I'm gonna apply these. Return screen reader settings reloaded. There we go. Tab uh. cancel push button apply push help voice speak rate voice type settings pitch horizontal rate capitalize person language speech sy speech system. Combo mark, voice type, voice page tab, OK push button, tab, voice page tab, speech page tab. We want to change our punctuation level in here. Tab, enable speech checkbox checked, tab, verbosity panel, verb tab, punctuation level sum, sin on, selected level, verbosity enable speech page tab, braille page tab, echo page tab, left control. Our key echo. Tab, enable key echo checkbox checked. I want to disable that. Tab. Enable echo mic space. Checked. Tab. Enable echo mic space. Checked. Left enable enable echo page. OK push but cancel push but a tab. OK push but and return. Screen reader settings reloaded. Desktop. Icon new. And that's all you that's that is it all. That's our Arch Linux install complete. We've set up our screen reader. You can do some other setting up. But um, you can set up things the way you want. I'm going to set things up the way I want. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that later because I'm doing this on video. But let's take a look at what we've got installed. Applications menu, accessories menu, and ramper archive. Mate calculate, mate font view, mate search bloomer, take screen vim, and ramper archive manager. Pretty much all our Marte utils are here. Accessories menu, graphics menu. I have mate image, mate color, I have mate image, mate color, select graphics menu, internet menu, I market SSH, so I market VNC Firefox. There's Firefox, like we requested, that we wanted to install before. Nitro share. We've got Nitro share here. Thunderbird. And we've got Thunderbird too. I market SSH server, so internet menu, office menu, actual document, mate dictionary, actual document, mate dictionary. We've only got those in our office menu. Office menu. Sound and video. QTV four L two test U QTV four sound. QTV four L two test utility. We don't have much in our sound settings because we haven't installed any media players, but you could install VLC if you want to as an optional. Sound and video system tools menu. And mark is here a conf charger. System tools sound and office menu. Internet menu. We might as well make sure we've got internet. And market SSH, and market VNC, so Firefox, Nitro Share, Firefox, Desktop, Icon New, Applications Menu, Menu, Welcome to Firefox M Mozilla Firefox Frame. There we go, we've got Firefox up and running. Sign in push button. I'm not going to sign in now, but there we go. Welcome to Firefox. I'm going to go ahead and. Content. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and shut this machine down. Applications Menu. Sound and video system tools menu system menu shut down menu alert cancel push button shut down push button Oracle Virtual Box C program Man that was ear piecingly loud I hope that shut the VM down
Yes, it has. I'm going to go close out of virtual box. There you've got it. You now know how to install Arch Linux with accessibility. I'm sorry you couldn't see anything, but um, this this is meant for the visually impaired. Uh, for those who are interested in Arch Linux and want to learn how to install it, but you're welcome to you you welcome to you welcome to watch if you're interested. I'm not going to judge. Uh, let me tell you a story before I end. I've had many failed attempts to install Arch Linux. Yeah, that's right. I've failed this multiple times. And the reason is I thought Orca would install um, speech dispatchers, native services. But you have to manually enable them. So in order for Orca to actually work, what we had to do is um, install Orca along with its uh, extra dependencies like eSpeakNG and also utils, as well as eSpeakUp, then what you're going to want to do is enable eSpeakUp, because if you don't, then um, Speech Dispatcher is not going to work properly and you'll just get the dummy output module, which means you've not got a good installation. A good inst you'll, you'll get a good Arch installation if you do systemctl, space enable space e speak up that way once you go to start orca you'll get speech and that's all that that's all that matters really so there you go we've got a we've got an accessible arch installation up and running thank you for watching this video it's been a pleasure showing you how to install probably one of the most um hard to install linux distributions um, in the Linux community, but it's easy now that you will it's, e it's a lot easier now we've got the installer, but I wouldn't recommend installing Arch Linux for beginners though, because Arch Linux, at the end of the day, it's for people who know about Linux, it's for people who um, know what they're doing on Linux, and it's probably one of my favourite Linux distributions, I mean, I was proper, I was really happy when I did my first install, I got a first working install with Orca, so, um, yeah. Stop button. Once again, this is Jordan signing off saying have a good day, everyone.